you, the music, you here with us, but baby, you are in your world, you are in your element, and it feels good, it feels good to be free. It feels good to not worry about what other people are thinking about you. It is good to feel good and not overthinking where your mind is always going, going, going. This is a beautiful moment. Let me go get the mess. Y'all, today is like a beautiful day. It's struggling this morning. Like, like some mornings for me, especially for me, sometimes I have struggling mornings because I'm I try to focus on so many tedious things in the morning. And as a Sagittarius, on my, my sun, moon, and rising, tediousness is just not like the the best thing. You know, so um, so when I get up sometimes I'll be super fiery, super like edgy. It's not it's not due to anybody else, it's just like due to due to me and me no understanding what I have to do and what I have to obtain for my family, all of that. It's just a fire sign work ethic. But I will be the first to let you know that it all changes once I get out, out in front of the sun and I get this vitamin D and I, uh, I exercise in the name of wellness. Like I do all of this just, just so I could be here for my family. So when I'm older, I'm not, I'm not a burden on them, but I'm actually like a, a help me. You know, I'm, I'm, some, I'm somebody that can help. I could take the kids on. I could take them places. I can take take my kids' kids to places, you know? It's all about life. That's why we get up every day. That's why we in here. That's why this group is started. It's because we want to live longer. We want to live healthier. We want to be around our family longer. We want to give get more love. We want to communicate better. Like everybody wants love. Like even the hardest soul wants love. They just don't know how to obtain it. Or, or how to receive it and how to give it. But everybody wants it. It's something that's like needed. And sometimes you gotta be able to give it to people that don't, don't know how to accept it. Sometimes you, we don't know how to accept it ourselves. We, we think we know how to give it, but we don't even know how to accept it ourselves. When the last time have you turned down or you walked away from a loving situation a situation that was better for you. You just gotta think about it. We walk, we walk past different fruits and vegetables all day. We walk past different things that do us good all day. And we say, well, we ain't got no time for that. How do we do, we do that with people? Do we, do we do that with, with our job? Do we do that with opportunities? We just walk past that shit like, yeah, hey, that's good for me, but that might take a little bit too much work. All we trying to do here is get everybody to understand how you do small things, how you do all things. So if we can fix the core of our problem, the core of our problem is what's going in our bodies. And and, and then that dictates what's coming out of our bodies. But if we can, if we can change that little simple ass shit that they ask, they saying that, it, that you can't change it? Are you serious? They saying that you cannot be disciplined, that you can't walk away from it? That should tell you something. If they're telling you, you can't walk away from this. You can't change. Obesity is a disease. You can't change it. If they told you that in your face, in your ear, you've been learning that all your life. I'm here today to tell you, fuck them. They don't know what the fuck they talking about. I'm a survivor of this shit. I'm a survivor of addictions. I'm a survivor of all that bullshit they put in my body. And I'm, and I'm here to fight them back. I know Della here to fight them back. We ain't just gonna get slapped in our face and told what to eat, what to do, all of that. And then you sell this shit to our kids and you cause cycles in our family that we didn't even have no, no say so in. They can't have our kids. They can't have our families. They can't just feed them this poison and this addiction and have them going, going off to their lives and marriages, just fucking up, not knowing how to communicate, not knowing how to, how to, uh, 
equally prioritize their their emotions and everything like like there's no balance we bringing balance back they said they was bringing sexy back we bringing balance, balance back, back. That's right. they brought back all the other shit but now we need balance only only way we gonna get it there's so many people up in we got 400 people in this group we just started this group a couple of months ago and and when we first started it we accidentally deleted 200 people so it would have been like 600 people in this group right now all these people want a better life all of these people understand that there's something better than the shit that's been presented to them than a life that's been presented to, to them than a people who just allowed them to be that way they want it out so they found this group they found a group of people that want to be accountable that want to move forward that want to tell people hey i love you but this is the truth here like that's what people want want in this group we want that real authentic love not that fake here slide you a cake and a smile love even though that cake is poison, but it made you feel good. It made you feel welcome. Fuck that shit. Don't feel comfortable being welcome in your enemy's house. No matter how nice they are. They come real sweet with them smiles and them cakes and, that, and all that shit that, that poisons you. You can get that same fucking palate somewhere else much healthier. But you choose this because this is the easy option. This is what you know. Well, let us let y'all know right now, before we get into this breathing, we are not normal here. We are not regular here. We are not like them. They are not like us. So if you want a regular ass life to be around a whole bunch of regular ass people that do all the same regular ass shit, this is not the place that you want to be. This is the place for the people that are serious about life that's serious about changing and breaking cycles. This is, this is what this group is for. So we may not be popular by, by that belief system, but that's what this is about. We're not about religion, we're not about politics, we're about truth, and we're about, about, about spirituality, but we don't bring no, no religion or politics up in here. This is about you becoming better, a better version of yourself, and everything here that, that is talked and discussed about here is about bettering yourself, period. We still bettering ourselves. We are not y'all leaders, we nobody's leaders. We y'all brothers and sisters because we are on a journey of, of wellness too. I just might be a little bit ahead of people because I lost 230 pounds and I totally changed my life and I totally did a whole lot of things to my mind, body and spirit naturally. Nobody ever touched me with no knife. Nobody ever put no pills in me, no drugs, no nothing. I did this with pure discipline, pure superfoods. Nobody else is talking like this. There's people going under the knives and then selling y'all damn products after that. And you know I got a problem with that. Y'all know we got a problem with that shit when we did the work. We did the motherfucking work. And that's why we so, so, so excited about this. That's why we so passionate about this. Because the work could be done and anybody can do it. Anybody can have a way better result than I can. Some of y'all younger than me. Some of y'all are way smaller than me. I was 409 pounds. And if I can look like this from looking what I looked like before, which I look way older than what I look like now. My, my skin is smoothed out. My hair and nails are smoothed out. My body then formed right. My skin then retracted. I did all that shit with natural food. Who the fuck gonna tell me about something else? Like all the information out there, you can't tell me nothing because I did it. My wife did it. We did it for other people. And I'm trying to tell y'all, y'all don't have to listen to them lies no more. You're in this group. Stop listening to the lies. Everybody gets paid off your sickness but you. You get paid off your wealth, off your health. And your and they, get paid off your they get paid off your weaknesses. They get paid off your addictions. They get paid off your sickness. They get paid off your death. Everybody gets paid when you get sick and die. 
You a paycheck. You a walking paycheck. Who gets paid when you when you change everything? Not only get paid, because paid ain't the word for it. Who gets rewarded? Who gets rewarded for making a difference, for standing up and saying, hey, fuck that shit. I'm going to be disciplined. I'm going to do this shit for real. I'm going to do it right. I'm tired of all this freaky deaky shit out here. I'm tired of all these crazy emotions. I'm tired of all this bullshit. Let me just get on my shit and do my shit right. Remove all the damn distractions and focus. And that's what we did. We focused for two years, removed the distractions, removed all the people we fell out with in this time of correcting yourself. Cause that's what happens. When you correct yourself, all the motherfuckers that was cool with you being who you were, they fall off. They, they were satisfied with that person. But the person that's gonna be better, the person that's gonna exceed, the person that got the glow, they don't like that person. That person think he too be he 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 better than us. He think he better than us. He is. Making up shit, finding shit to be mad at you about. Because they don't want you to come around and make them look stupid. Because you didn't fix all the ailments that you had within a very short time. And they didn't been on a hundred diets. They didn't they didn't did everything in the world. And what you did was naturally. And you did it with ease, with control. And, and the more and more you did it, the more better you felt about yourself. And during this time in your transition, you stopped caring what you look like. Let me tell y'all something. I stopped buying clothes for two and a half years because I was losing weight so, so damn fast that I wasn't going to buy another $100 shirt. I wasn't going to buy another T-shirt that was going to be gone. I couldn't wear it next week. That's how fast I was losing, losing weight. When I, when I tell you, when I took this shit 100% serious, when I said, I'm going to be here, I'm going to be strong. Ain't nobody going to be stronger than me. Ain't nobody's soul going to be stronger than my soul because I'm going to work it out. I'm going to do the work. The work that I see 90% of the world don't fucking do. So if you in this room, you already above a portion of these people. Don't let these skinny ass people be walking around here making you think that they healthy. They not. And they just gotta buy some surgery and hide it. Some of them got surgeries. Some of them just naturally skinny, but a lot of them ain't healthy at all. They eat worse than you. They just, somehow their metabolism is working out their food better. Or maybe their portions is different, but they eating the same damn shit. It's all poison. They're not better than you. They're not even more disciplined than you. Food is a psychological program. It's a software. And if you got your motherfucking computer full of so much damn virus lit, virus uh, filled software, what do you expect your outcome to be? Let's, let's be serious about life. What do you expect the outcome to be? If you just put whatever the fuck you want to put up in here all day, what is the outcome? What you put in dictates what's out. What you surround yourself with. You put in a whole bunch of garbage here, you're willing to be around a whole bunch of people that do this shit too. I don't want to be around a whole bunch of people that's eating flaming hots. We got different personalities. I don't want to be about around somebody that's eating a whole bunch of red dye 4040. We got different conversations going on in this bitch. You worried about some bullshit, toxic ass shit. I'm worried about getting my, my family up here. Like, food makes you think irrational. It makes you love things that don't love you back. You go, you go around buying these people products, making them rich, going to your, going to buy their products for your other people. None of you, no, nothing in your community gets fixed from that. Period. You just making people rich. You're taking their message with saying, "Hey, this is good. This is more like it's more important to enjoy your moment right now. You're gonna die one day. You're gonna die. You're gonna die." How often do you fucking hear, hear that? Well, you're gonna die anyway. 
there's a everybody dies. Let's 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 just say that everybody dies. But do you want to die like the like the the old person that's the still jogging and running, loving, having, doing all the things that young people do? Or do you want to be the person that's in a fat ass wheelchair, getting rolled, putting burdens on everybody around you because you can't do shit for yourself? Mm putting burdens on the people in their in a 30s, 40s, and 50s because that's what you're going to have to lean on. You're going to have to lean on them. You can't lean on the ones under there because you're going to be hurt real fast. You're going to be uh, left out real fast. So you're going to have to lean on the ones that got shit going on. The ones that's building their lives. So then you cripple them during that time where, where they had their youthfulness and they could have got their shit going. So then they didn't get that shit going because they had to depend on you. So then they had to leave it off to 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 their young ones. And then they then they start getting old and then miserable and all the resentment and hate from them not achieving their goals. Then they fuck around and die on the young ones. Then those young ones, it's getting younger and younger. Y'all y'all see that shit? It's getting younger and younger. All we have to do. All we have to do is take control of what we're putting inside of our bodies. Right. Not even just here, here too, here too, here too. That's people, that's bullshit, negative, whatever, that's, that's seeing things and, and not letting them leave your mind and memory Speaking things and eating things that 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 harm or hurt or, or, or bring death to situations, we can control that. Let me get a one if you can control that. But anyway, y'all, we're gonna do a quick little breathing. Quick little breathing. What am I <laughs> I'm about to say? It. We're about to be a breathing machine up in this piece. But just remember, this yeah. is. We are the breathing machine. machine. Y'all know I had a I had a CPAP for five years of my life. I was on the cane before I started my journey. I was 409 before I, 409 pounds before I started my journey. Y'all think I'm just crazy? Y'all think I'm just passionate or think I'm just emotional? I well, we saved my life, we saved my wife's life, but but I was on a deathly path. For for what? For good marketing? Taste. Taste. Taste and good marketing. That's what I was on a deathly path for. That's what I almost ruined my whole empire, my whole legacy for, just to taste some shit. I'm just saying, y'all. Let, let, let's make this shit simple for ourselves. Let's listen to the truth in real words. Let's listen to what's being said in the most simplest terms, period. We're risking it all for taste. Does that make sense? Does, does one, one thing make sense about that? Oh, I'm just living my life. You only get one. That's a big motherfucking lie. Let me tell you why that's such a big ass lie. You only get one life? Is that fucking true? Because I've seen lives come out of people. I've been seeing millions of lives come from one damn vessel and it's gonna turn into a whole bunch of different lives. So when you say I only got one life to live, that's the most selfish, selfish. dumbass shit that you can ever say. Yeah, you got one life to live, but you didn't left back all this motherfucking life. Being reckless. Talking about I got one life to live. So now all these lives got one life to live. So everybody here has got the culture of one life to live in this bitch. What about... What about everything that comes from you? All the life that comes from you. Year, like, like five, five or six, 
times down the, the parental line, you have kids, they have kids, they have kids. By the time people start multiplying with the kids, five or six times down, you're like 500 kids in. So you still going to walk around talking about you just got one life to live when so many lives come from you, men and women. That's some reckless ass talking, y'all. That's some reckless ass, senseless ass talking. And it's time for us to make sense. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't talk reckless and stupid for 40 years of my life. I got it together at the at at, at 40, y'all. It's not too late. I got it together at 40. Later. There's people that's getting it together even later than me. Mm. That's walking, that's playing basketball, that's doing all the type of shit that you want to do right now. Yeah. There's people that get that 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 do more squats squats than me right now. 70, 70 years old. They do more push-ups than me right now. I could do 50 in a row. There's people out here that's older than me, way older than me, that can do all that shit. But they don't get publicized. You know what get publicized? The motherfucking medicines. That's that all the other folks is on. They they would never tell you that this don't have to be your life. They would never let you know that there's another option other than being a sick bitch. I'm just trying to be our brother in this time. I know I talk like real crazy sometimes. Y'all know I talk from the heart and all that, but I don't give a fuck about how I talk around my family. This say I ain't outside. I ain't in no, no corporate office. This my family. And if we watching our words around our family, then, then you know, I don't want to consider that family. In, my, in this group, we family here. So if y'all hear passion coming from a vessel, like just, just, just love the passion for what it is, cause this passion is also the passion that will whoop somebody ass if anybody ever stepped to one of my sisters in this room. It's the same type of passion that that will that will that will fight for you too. So you gotta love it on both ways. So, so at the end of the day, y'all, this is love. I want to I want to keep letting y'all know this is how love responds. Like there's gonna be common sense, there's gonna be conflict, there's gonna be everything that has to do with love. But all that sweet, nice shit that they've been giving you for years, make you feel good and all, all, all your fatisms, making you feel good and all your ailments and all your sicknesses. Where did that get you? Where did that get you? <laughs> Maybe you need to try something different. For real, let's try something different. Let's try being honest and authentic with each other. Let's try being brothers and sisters. Let's try really telling people, hey, I don't like how that's looking on you. I was watching um, this one thing. So, so, so they have this podcast called Drink, Drink Champs. I know a lot of y'all probably heard of that. With Noriega. With Noriega. And what do they do every day on, on the podcast? Drink. They drink. Liquor. Liquor, hard liquor, every day on the podcast. Oh there was only out of, out of all the hundreds of guests they they had, they only had one, one. guest that came and said like, "What are you y'all doing to to combat this? Y'all drinking every day?" Said it sincerely. That was Big Shine. He shout said it. Big said it. Shout out to Big Shine because he said it sincerely, like for real. Like, what are y'all doing to combat this? Y'all drinking alcohol every day. This is unhealthy. Fuck the money. Mm. You're going to die, dude. Like, what's going on? Do y'all know, like, all the fucking world is like that? There's people that say they love you that's walking in your face right now that, that know that you're doing something that is hurting yourself that ain't going to say shit don't to you. They're going to walk by, and then when you die, when you hurt yourself or whatever, they're going to cry with you. But they ain't gonna live, they, they'll come to your funeral, everything. But they ain't gonna, they ain't gonna tell you shit. They're gonna walk by you in your sickness. They ain't gonna say, hey, put that motherfucking cookie down. Right now, please. Save your life, please. They're not gonna do that. That's not love, y'all. That's this they make it made up shit that they that they that they put on them uh, cards and, and Walgreens. That's that type of love. That's that comfort shit. Let me make you feel good while you're doing bad. You good? All right, yeah, have you some more of that shit. Yeah. But, like, 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 
Taking accountability means that I'm gonna say something. I'm gonna just say something. Hey, hey, bro. Like, are you are you sure you don't eat that shit? You sure you wanna eat that shit? I, I I can't control what you eat, but that's some bullshit that you eating right now. I'm gonna tell you why. Like, when we gonna be those people to each other? And I don't care about like the race. I don't care about none of that shit. Like, I'm so over it. I'm so over all the bullshit because niggas. Let me clean them. Because motherfuckers is going to be motherfuckers on each side. You're going to find good people on each side. During these last four years, I didn't learn that there oh, no. that my own people would do me in. But I also have good people that are my own people. Then I have white people that do me in. But I also got some good white people that do me in. That care about my family. That show me love. Exactly. In the time that I needed love. That helped me out in the time I needed help. Race don't mean shit to me no more. Oh, thank you, baby. Race don't mean anything to me no more. Like, you got stupidity on each side. You got love on each side. I'm going to tell you what matters to me right now in this moment is truth. And like, like, I don't care how you feel about me. I don't care what you think about me. I don't care what your agenda is. Let me know the truth so I can deal with it myself, so I can understand what, I, what, I, what I'm dealing with. Don't lie to me. Don't sell me no agenda. Don't try to sell shit to my kids. Don't try, because we good. We think. We think over here. Matter of fact, we have a whole tribe of people that think. Black Hippie Circle. So take that shit somewhere else with people that don't think. That's who, that's who your market is. That's not our market. Our market is an intelligent market of people that push it together, that see their errors and fix them. That's what our market is. And then they see the reward. It may not be immediate, mm -hmm. but, but like a few months down the line, you start to see yourself di looking differently in this bitch. And then a few months after that, you like, wait a minute. Mm -hmm. Wait a minute, let me go try the old jeans on again. I'm saying I held on to some jeans. Like, like for real? Got me. Shoot. Like, I, I, I have so many clothes in my closet right now from everywhere just because at this point in my life, I just like putting on clothes. I don't even go nowhere. I just like putting them on. You feel good cause because I, it feels good to put on anything and it fits right. It feels good that I could put on anything and it fits how I want it to fit. It fits how it how it was intended to fit. There's dopamines that's fed when you putting on clothes. That's why my room is full of clothes. I just look in the mirror, put on clothes all day. <laughs> like it's something that that I feed myself. But this is something that that I had to work towards. It didn't take long. Two years, three years, four years, five years. If it took six, seven years. But for me personally, I lost 150 pounds in one year. I lost 230 pounds altogether, but in that first year, I lost 150 pounds. And that was my, my least active year. I didn't get active until the end of the year. It was the food and the discipline. It was discipline, it was food. I can't express to y'all more. I ain't been in nobody's damn gym. All my working out has been at the house, has been yoga, has been kigan, has been push-ups, has been sit-ups, has been jogging, has been doing doing stuff like that. But guess what? I'm 100% fit. I'm more fit than most of the people my age. I could do more things than most of the people my age. And I'm not even trying to cap cap for you. If you put put anybody against me. I will challenge them in a physical, and I ain't talking about fighting, I'm talking about I will challenge them to a physical duel. Let's see what we can do. Because at this point in my life, I'm not a superhuman yet. I'm on my way to being that. We on our way to being superhumans. Y'all on y'all way to being That's superhumans. Right. But I could not do none of this shit two, three years ago. I couldn't do five push-ups two, three years ago. That is a short ass time in life. You telling me that if I duck my head down, if I take out a couple of summers and I just like don't worry about the outside world, just close in and just work on myself. 
You telling me that I could have everything that I want? That this is the outcome? That this is the outcome? That you'll be getting phone calls from people from all over the world trying to t talk to you and interview you and do all this shit just because I decided to eat right? What? All this fucking opportunity, all these people while I'm in front of, just because I got to fuck, I started eating right? That's, are you serious? That's all it took. Y'all, yeah. <laughs> stop playing. Stop playing. We not the ones. Like, 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 it ain't no joke out here. We can change all this shit real quick. All you got to do is just take it serious. Take it serious. Right. Everybody else take it as a joke. Everybody else like, oh, no, I can't do that. Y'all, what y'all eating? Hell no, nah, I can't do that. Everybody else take it as a joke, but look at their lives. <laughs> it's almost just as funny. I want to be a superstar in this bitch. I don't want to be a regular ass motherfucker. I want to be a stu superstar. Like if you want to be a superstar, then do some super shit. Eat like a superhuman being. Get up and do what 90% of the world don't do. They get up and start working and start doing their shit. Get up and do your shit for you. Do your body. First, you got to take care of yourself before you can give somebody else what you don't have. How you going to take care of somebody else and you're not taken care of? How you going to give what you don't receive? So if nobody else going to take the time out for you, you got to stop. You got to pause the world and take the time out for your damn self. Because a 50% version of you ain't shit compared to a 100% version of you. Don't you want your kids and your, your family, your job, to have the 100% version? That's right. You want to give everybody the weak-ass version of yourself? That's an impression you leaving everywhere. I'm giving everybody the 100% version of myself, the most potent version there is, the, 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 the shit that ain't stepped on. This is the pure cocaine, y'all. I'm giving the unfiltered, purest version. Are you giving that pure version of yourself? How you gonna get it? How you gonna do it? Only way you can do it. Inside out, y'all. Gotta start within. What we put in this motherfucker, it's gonna dictate everything about our lives. So stop playing with the food. Let's get serious. And this is just another soapbox me message from Abba. Y'all know when we get in the sun, I start, I start getting the sun rays. So, okay. some crawl on. Yeah, yeah. These joints trying to crawl up. <laughs> but, but you um, know what? It's important. You know, like understanding the story. Like when you all join us. Sometimes you may have been on our page, you may have seen a snippet of the story, but when you really begin to understand who we are, what our mission is, why we're so passionate, you begin to understand the whole mission behind everything that we're doing. This is not just following the way of everybody else. Like with our signs together, they call us rebels. He's a Sagittarius, I'm an Aquarius. They call us rebels without a cause. I but I, I, but I am so against that we are rebels with a cause and our rebellion stems from what we put in our body, what we, what we watch, what we eat and what we listen to because I don't want to be like everybody else. Everybody else follows a certain way. Everybody else listens to the same people. Everybody else watches the same programs. But what makes you different? You don't lose 230 pounds. You don't lose 50 pa 60 pounds now out of nowhere, out of thin air. We have five children, which means every time I was pregnant, guess who was pregnant too? Please understand it. I'm so pregnant, more pregnant than her. people would ask us who having the baby, right? Bo <laughs> Both of us, every single time after five children, I, we should do something like that. After five children, mm -hmm. he's lost 230 pounds. Yeah. After five children, Angie has lost 60 pounds. We knew that there were bodies up under here. I would look in the mirror and tell myself, I know that there's a body up under here because I seen it. 
several times, snatch back several times. I just got to go back in and get her. I got to go in and get her, snatch her, bring her out and present her in front of this mirror like I know she is. Like I know what I'm seeing. I'm loving what I'm seeing in front of me. And that's the phase that we're in right now where we are loving. We want you to get there where you yeah, are yeah, loving. There yet, but we, we are not there yet, but we are loving the journey. I love who I see in the mirror when I'm looking at myself. And I mean in the raw, stand in front of that mirror naked. Look at every single crack, crevices, crevice, roll, curve, stretch my, I don't give a care. Look at it and say, how can I be better? What is it that I want from this body, this temple? What is it that I want? After children, a lot of times as mothers, you can get discouraged. You know, you like, man, I'm never going to get it back. I don't know. After you gain so much weight, even as men, you be like, man, this is just life. Like, you know, I just need to accept it. I'm a f- to, And you give up. But that day, we looked. I remember the day that you started yoga mm-hmm. and, your, and your ankles could not stretch mm-hmm. because, because of some, child, some things that happened in utero. Your ankles were messed up, right? You thought, he thought he would never. Look, y'all, this move right here, let me show y'all. Y'all see how flat, how flat it is from here. He thought he would never be able to do that. And I said, you know what, baby? That's all right. We're going to do this every single day and wait, wait till we see the changes. We're going to see if we can reverse this thing that you thought you had on you for the last 40 years. Right. I can't stretch my ankles. My ankles hurt. He was on the cane and all of that stuff. The, the, the doctor actually like broke my ankles. The so doctor when he was to, born to reset them. broke his ankles, reset them, and then they were never right until, don't tell us what yoga can't do, yoga and food changed your, changed your whole self-limiting belief like every damn doctor lied to me. they lied the chiropractor lied the chiropractor lied like every fucking doctor lied to me about my condition they and lied they my, my whole life as serious as i took nope but when you began to learn what you could do and you honored yourself in the moments and continued even though it hurt it didn't feel good at first it hurt you know what I mean? But you continued, and that's what we want y'all to do. Do not give in to the self-limiting beliefs that will tell you what you cannot do. You keep pressing, and like I said, six months, excuse me, six months down the road, even three months down the road, even a month of yoga and eating right down the road, you will notice the difference. So many people are already noticing the difference after 10 days. What you waiting on? What are you waiting on? Stop the procrastination. Stop the procrastination. You can start the journey today. If we would have waited, guess what? We wouldn't have been here today talking to y'all if we would have just kept procrastinating, kept eating, kept saying what we can't do, kept saying just one more of this, just one more of that. I just want to eat just one more of this, one more of that. I just, I can't control myself. I don't know what's wrong. You know what's wrong. Your mindset is what's wrong. And we are here to help you to be able to straighten that thing out, gain your control back, and stop saying what you cannot do. Yeah, for real. Like she said it. Like, you know what's wrong. We've been saying, like, I don't know what's going on. I don't know. I can't get it together. You know. You crying. You, you, you know. I just try everything. Minute, no, you, you, you ain't tried to one damn thing. Wait a minute. What about this one? No one can help me. Not even myself. <laughs> and it's like these things we say. This is like what TV is promoting to Man. you. Like, TV then gave you all your lines for, for being fat. For being weak and fat. It, it, it gave you all your lines yep. for being weak and for being fat, like for real. I use every single line on TV, every single line a, dec- a doctor said, every single, obesity is a disease. Yep. My back is just bad. It's curved. You I just get old work. with age. Yep. Your knees go bad no matter what. You're going to die anyway. I used to say all the same dumb ass shit that people say today. Yep. Until. Until you fucking like turn around and look at all the shit that you've been saying, listen to all those spells you speaking over that yourself. you spoke over yourself and you wonder why you were trapped because you made yourself believe you was trapped in this bitch. You I not. just came out of that belief system, y'all. It took me to get hit in my head with concrete Literally. in order for me to understand that fuck this shit. I'm going against I'm finna do whatever I got to do because I was I was so close to death. 
I saw visions of my life. I did not like it. I said I want. I did not want to go out like that. Okay. So I got on my shit. And 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 once I took control of what I can take control of at the time, because when I when I hit my rock bottom, I didn't have a whole lot of money. Hmm. I went from having a whole lot of money to having virtually nothing. I went from five hundred thousand to my in my bank account to negative. Like in, in in such a quick time, it took so long to build it up. Yeah. It took like a few days for it to crash. So when I hit my rock bottom, at my rock bottom, I had got an injury. And in that injury, I saw my life. I began to fix my life with what I could do at the time. Which was? Was eating. At least I'm not, like, I ain't going to be down like this and eating that bullshit. Like, like I feel too bad right now. Like, fuck that shit. I want to do whatever I got to do to get back into the feeling like a normal human. I want to go to sleep like a normal human. I want to wake up like a normal human because I got to be here for my children. Like, my love for my children is is deep. Like, it's deep. And I don't even think no man ever loved me the way that I love my children. Mm. But, 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 but when it hit us, it hit us so deep and so real. When, when, when I saw my life, when I actually like saw from a bird's eye view, I, I was seeing myself in these visions. I didn't like what I looked like standing next to my beautiful ass wife and kids. Like, like we had this everything. We had everything and a beautiful, like, and I'm sitting here looking sick as fuck. Not able to spend the proper time, being edgy, not communicating right, being emotional, all the silly shit. That could have all been fixed with food. And now, now that now that we fixed, now that we went through that little time, two, three years, now I'm like, man, if everybody understood this damn information, that if you eat a certain way, You'll be reducing toxic behavior in your life. You'll be reducing having like allowing bullshit and bullshit ass people to be around. And your life is so much simpler, so much simpler, so much easier. And then you can focus on the things that you actually want to do. But when you got so much bullshit around, it's just a distraction and you're looking everywhere. And, and when you're looking everywhere, all your stuff is getting neglected. Yo, I'm going to hop up off this soapbox today because I know I could be out here for hours. Um, and I know we needed to do our breathing, but it's getting kind of late. <laughs> and these mats are like scorching hot. That's why we walking around so much. But, um... I just wanted to give a word because it's just, and y'all know, sometimes it'd be on my heart to just like give the word that needs to be said today. Look how you spoke. And, and, Look how um, you spoke. You saw that and then the sun gave yeah. us a break. Right. You saw that? You saw the, the sun just gave us a break as soon as we the said sun that. gave us a break for a second. All right. But, um, but yeah, y'all, so I just had to get this word real quick. Y'all know we love y'all so much. Please and get we, out of my head. We, we going to be in here tonight. Well, no, not tonight, right? No, we'll be back. Look, 9 a.m. tomorrow. Not playing no games. 9 a.m. tomorrow. It's not supposed to rain, so it should be extra dry. So we don't have to wipe off nothing, clean off nothing. We will be ready to go. So make sure that y'all join us 9 a.m. No excuses. If you got to wake up a little early. If you got to wake up a little early just so you can be here, join us. We want you here with us. This is a space that's for us. Get in the group. Get active. Don't you feel better? After yoga and after dance today, though, look, being able to let go of those emotions, breathe in the breath of life to calm your spirit. Come on, y'all. So join us tomorrow morning. Make sure y'all let other people in the group know y'all missed out. Y'all missed out. But you didn't, really, because you could join us tomorrow. Tomorrow's Friday. So um, let's celebrate it, y'all, and have a great oh, day. We gotta get on, tell, tell them we got to get on tonight to celebrate Tag Team. Oh, my God. 
Y'all, to, we gonna be on tonight because we have a couple that has completed their 10 days in spite of work, in spite of family, and all of that they showed up and they completed their 10 days. So we wanna celebrate them and let them know that uh, as you continue this journey, you are not by yourself. We are a family here. So join us tonight. What time? Eight, nine? Eight, Eight o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Join us tonight. It is Thursday.